Um, and we're not going to gun. And since it's Erev Shabbos, we're right to so we have to learn quickly. We just did yeah. a beautiful shir from Shlomo. Unbelievable. The singing and the, sh- the chizik for Shabbos. Right. We've got beautiful Shalas Siddhis to look forward to. You be here? You're here? Yeah, Mama. So you, you, you heard what I was saying then before. You haven't the seen him yet. I heard with, uh, huh? You haven't seen him yet. I haven't seen him yet. No, you heard the vart I was telling you about. Yeah. I heard once. It's like Shabbos, and when, when you keep Shabbos, it ends up uh, what it does to the previous week. Oh, sure. Elevates it. To, no, but I'm saying if you have such a terrible week. Oh, even more than the Shabbos is even higher. And then higher. your Shabbos is even higher. It comes out like yeah. Loma Freya. Rav Lach Shabbos Be'emech Abacha. Right. The deeper the, the week of Golas is, the higher the Shabbos. Rav right. Lach Shabbos. Right, and it turns out that your whole week was for really... That's an the, elevated. Oh, so that's really one of the big klalim. Yeah, Bainanim. Bainanim. Excellent. That is exactly the Bainanim. The, the, right. the how we can become Bainanim, Lafida Tanya, is that Nukuda. Is that we, Lema right. Freya, are always doing what's in the Shem. Right. We're like Even Lema though, Freya Bainanim. Be, yeah. The, yeah. That would make sense. That, that would be the right. It's fluctuating, as we mentioned. I think Lema Freya Bainanim. How would you say Lema Freya? Like, if you read the McGill Lema Freya, you're not Yotzi. Right. Because everything has a Seder, everything needs to be done and read in the right time. The whole story well, is the Nasa Purim. Right. Well, you but, have to do it like that. That's the whole thing, is that we only can look at things from hindsight. Yeah. So whenever we're looking at things from hindsight, we're like, ah, really? <laughs> really? I meant there's it's a, it's a little bit of a catch-22. Yeah. The second you think you're like, oh, I'm just going to do, I'm going to be a tyrant. To everyone, because I know Shabbos is going to come, and then that's it turns true. out to be a mitzvah. No, that's that true. would not work. That doesn't help. That doesn't bring anyone close to the mitzvah. I realize with kids nowadays, you have to get them to want to do it. It's, uh, I mean, it's based on the piyutzetz uh, on in Chavos Hamidim, but the real derech of Hinuch is about generating their rotzen. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> I just learned from the Sasemis yesterday a beautiful concept, and it's, I didn't think about it as Hinuch, but it's connected that the Sadik puts his desire into yeah. the mitzvah, yeah. <laughs> so that we can have more chesed and more rotzen, so that we suddenly get, like my I, my father right. helped me buy a house in Eretz Israel like a, a while back, right. right? he sat with Rav Simai a few times to get to that point. Right. Until he sat with Rav Simai, it probably wasn't happening. The right. Sadik put it into him, and it wasn't wow. even persuasion, it was it was a, rutz, a ruchnius thing, a rotzen. Right. He put into him a rotzen, a panemius. Mass, really? Yeah. That's it cool. came out different and literally was Yeshua for me. And that's the importance of New Sadiqim, they have a car to put in a good rotzen, not just to you, to everyone around you, your family, to, to, to the whole business, whatever you're trying to do. It's so important to go to Sadiqim and, and, and get connected to, the, to their more panemius rotzen. That's what Moshe Benah did by the by the whole Pasha Shkolem. He put in time with Saul, so a tremendous rotson. So th- this is the thing. The Benanim is he wants to be with the Sadiqim, because yeah? he has a, he has a nefesh elikus that's dominant. It's subduing the eight Sahara right. and and it's not allowing the 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 nefesh Muhammad to manifest in a real right. way of machshava diba ma'aser, thought ma'aser, thought mm-hmm. speech and action. So he's in that state of. Davik to the Sadiqim or Davik to the Nakura of Nefesh Alakuz. Now the Sadiqim, they, they get rid of the Nefesh Muhammad, the Gamre, or at least to the point where it has no, so minute it's Batu Bashishim, it's Gornish. Yeah. You know? But the, the Bain in him is still there. It's still on the left side of the heart, and he knows it's there. On yeah. a daily level, as we said, after davening, wow, you've had this moment like we just had now, where we had a beautiful shachris, we had a beautiful shir, and singing and Torah about Shabbos, and then comes there of Shabbos, you get home and the kids start, you know, and the wife start, and you've got to figure out, and there's suddenly a lack of some time because you had to take a business school you didn't really want to take, you yeah. had no choice, and then suddenly you're looking at the clock and Shabbos is coming, and you're like, oh my gosh, what happened to that? And by the time you get to shul, yeah, and that's not a guy who works there of Shabbos, imagine people there. You you remember that in New York, I'm sure. I know. The working Friday must have been the my hardest. My challenge thing. is that running my out work the train day. station to the shower. Yeah. I, I never had that ever in my life. Right. And thank God, I never worked at Shabbos in such an intense way. I had a corporate job where they forced me to do a few hours in the morning, but not the whole day in Manhattan. Or something. Right. Right. You've had that, yeah. Of course, I used to get them like an hour or two before. So what? You used to literally like running from yeah into Shabbos. Well, here now the problem is that like yeah. my workday starts. 
Oh, yeah, but just the Shabbos is coming. Just the Shabbos is coming, so I try to like shoot off as many emails. And you got to like chop in the last few hours. The last, and so it's, it's a challenge. So the, the key is your preparation before that. Right, right, right. That you do the most that you can for Shabbos, so that you have that space for the. For, yeah, this is. But this is. This is the point. The Nefesh Baham is sitting there waiting for all these fun moments to, yeah. to, to, to rear its ugly head. And what do, we, what do we have to do in the left side? What do you have to do? So we, we're saying we have to kill the that we have to make strong one. The time when the Nefesh Alakus is more yeah. sholet, we have to make that really strong. The davening, the learning, the ruchnis, the Shabbos, each of the das. And then we have the strength to not allow the Nefesh Baham to actually penetrate or cause any damage. Yeah. So it might be there, but it doesn't ruin Oh, Yiddish Kaya, our Bodhis Hashem. So let's keep going. Mama Shekavalt. I'm the I think we got to, you know? We got to the Where's the Chain? You got to be. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, let's go there. Let me just quickly, just quickly here. We'll just go back a little bit, yeah. Maybe we'll go backwards or go forwards a little bit. So there. Okay, a few of them are about her bra. Yeah, I don't mind. Go on, read. Okay, yeah, let's let's see here. Uh, I just want to see here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll let's just read stuff from here. That's okay. Great. Rak shalazem oyla harashima b'mochen. Oh, rather so by this saying, purpose, this resonation, this resonating energy of ruchnius. Yeah. Right, right, right. Rak shalazem oyla harashima b'mochen. The avosor. Yeah, this avosor mamisteres is hidden love. This is a very important clan chabad. Right. To see this of. This hidden love. This is something which every every good Jew is walking around with plenty of. Right. Comes from from Yitzhak Yaakov. We'll talk about more what this Havis of Mysteris is. And it's a, obviously the the vote is as a Rashima from it. The Chala uh, Yemini. Yeah. So it stops you from uh, desiring things. The ear is like a uh, moshul for us, for us, and our goof, our, who we are as a person. Right, right that little pint of the ear, the little yeah. spark, yeah. so to speak. Yeah, but the, the difference is it's a little bit stronger than that, I would say. Because the pint of the ear is like when a gid, it's like the mamish panemius. Right, like right. It's very deep. Whereas the avas mysterious could be much up and like I said, we were saying, fluctuating with the learning right. and the davening, you get the fire starts to generate again, and the avas starts right. to manifest more than just being there. Right. But yeah, it it, it it's is. Like it just sounds doing a little, uh, It sounds little, similar to the pinsley. A just, little mitzvah to the, protect you I think from the, what happens with the pinsley. I think is years and years of cover up where he's left the left side of the heart actually run his life. Right. So now the right side is now covered up with this klipa or whatever it is. From the Nefesh Bahamas that's now on the right side and he has to dig deep into the right side to find that Pintaliyad. But whereas a, a, a Bainani is someone whose his right side is pretty much clean. It's just the Ava Mysteris is uh right. is 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 where he's functioning after he's done all the avoda because right. that's life, you know. You right. get, it's more of like a it's a what is it called? Uh extended release. Yeah. They have like medication that's okay. extended release. Oh, so it's there, but it goes slowly. Yeah, it goes slow. It's like an extended release. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I have a question. I, maybe it's a side subject, but a lot of people have noticed I suddenly meet someone or see someone, they look really skinny. So people tell me they're doing diets and stuff. But I think a lot of people are taking some sort of medication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coils and injections. I don't know what all this stuff is. It's oh, like new stuff. Yeah. So, but is that also like a slow process or is it just, just a, in, almost an instant, like, you know, appetite yeah, quencher? I mean, it's, it, it's, Fast in terms fast. of that, like it takes weeks or maybe after a month uh, of doing it, someone can lose I get 15 pounds. About. Like people become instantly firm and on fire for a show. Yeah. These whacked out bad shivers. Or Instagram. You know, like the, the, the Moshe Weinberg used to make fun of the guys back in the day with their blogs and their vlogs. And they literally just walked into the shiva for, uh, two months ago. Right. And they're already like Magachirim and gurus. You know? Right, yeah, yeah. He make fun of that or much more. Yeah. And I'd be like, well, yeah, Baruch Hashem, when I was listening to that, I was like 10 years already, you know, in learning and all else. I didn't feel so nervous. I was people calling me Rebbe. Yeah, that whatever. instant stuff but, is, 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 is yeah. It's, yeah. So that, that type of, uh, those medications, that's dangerous for oh, yeah. sure. So I think anything instant is generally not the way. Because this happens mysterious as an eternal part of the makeup of a yid. It's right. not like a, you know, a part-time sort of experience. Um, and it keeps the tiber that it shouldn't have any shlita and we shall be on on his ear on his city which is him the hoti tavosa mekarcha la pol la sabish and it's not going to manifest from from potential to reality and clove itself by very goof in the actual limbs of the person feel the mark the vado 
even in the, in the brain itself, to start thinking um, bad thoughts. Ain lo shlita, v'mshala hara chas shalom v'ratzon, v'shemokha shebekabo ratzon chas v'shalom. Hirazeh hara ha'oyla me'elav, ma'alev l'mar canal. Yeah, yeah, so it, it's, it, it does not affect a person's actual functioning. It doesn't manifest to the Mayach to actually change. Um, any wicked thought rising of its own accord from the heart to brain is discussed above. What is that? That's just dumb thoughts. So we said, we, the Mosh, we said it's like noise around you. You don't, just because there's noise doesn't mean you focus on it. You know, you go to Manhattan, you hear all kinds of crazy sounds going on around and around. Yeah. But you're not, you, you know, you've got a business meeting, you're heading to the meeting, that's it. And all the noise around you are blocking it out. You're right, not focused right. on it. You're thinking about how you're going to do for the meeting. So th- these kind of thoughts are just sort of, they're floating around, but they're not you. You're not identifying. You know, you, you know where you see this Indian? You see this Indian by the other, where, and I can relate to this, is someone who grew up from and then yeah. went off the derech. No matter what, when those, those people who go off the derech, generally, right? You know, though it's not going to generalize. When they're like, even if they go and they sit down, they decide they're going to have a cheeseburger. Yeah. They're, they're, you know, that, that, this Indian that we just spoke about, that, um, that Ahava, Ahava Ahava Nisteris, Nisteris, Ahava the, hidden Nisteris, love. the hidden love is there still. And so no matter what, they will never be able to, to enjoy, enjoy it fully. <laughs> fully because they know that that, yeah. no matter what, the years of tefillah that they put in, even if it was just as a kid. Yeah. Or the Gemara. It's coming up, the Gemara, the Rebbe. You know, Rabbi like Nachman takes it. He says, Meshiv is nofesh. He says, the Torah is Hashem to Mima, Meshiv is nofesh. Once you've learned right. Torah, Meshiv is nofesh. It will return your soul back. Right. The Torah inside you is Nitzchis. It's already in, you've, it's, it's like you've injected eternal light inside your yeah. body. And it will never leave you, no matter what you right. do. So the Torah itself will schlep you out of wherever. Right. That's Which what Rabbi Nachman says. Which is why you see when Hasidim... Yeah. Go specifically, not specifically, but generally, you'll see with Hasidim, they go off yeah. the derech. And when they do, Chas yeah. they generally hang out with other Hasidim. And the reason, well, obviously, because there, yeah. there's a comfort level, but also, Culture. like, they they still are so tied to that Hava Mysteris. The and the, the they, chicken soup. They need the it. They, their, their neshama I, I'm is, not in America, but I, I can immobile. imagine there's a whole hangout place all around. Yeah, yeah of, of course. Of these Hasidim, the more like, the they call them modern or open Hasidim or whatever they're called. Yeah? Right. I don't like all these labels. But the point is that there are people who, you know, they're not probably the most uh, Yerushalayim people in an external sense. Right. But they're hanging around all those kind of places. The neshama you know? needs it. They'll, yeah. they'll go to like, you Culturally. know. Culturally. They'll go to like a, like a, you know, I've been down that road, so you can go to like a nightclub. I don't want to say about a frat, yeah. They'll say. Not yeah. good, but my daughter like pines for Hamish guy. Yeah, no, So no, every no. so on, she'll like drive into Beta just to like breathe in a little bit of her life. And my wife life. Or she'll go to, she'll go drive into Shalim and just, you know, be around the, yeah. how she grew up in Mesharim or wherever it was. It is hard. And she's just seeing all the Kharim doing their thing. Uh-huh. It just. Brings it, brings Especially when life. it's like a time like Purim or, you know, yeah. or a time of time of Simcha where there's, there's a lot of energy on the streets. There's a lot of noise and energy and, and people running around and yeah. it's all mitzvah, mitzvah, you know. And whereas when you're out in these towns, like a frat is very special and good people. But there's the, the energies doesn't, you know, and have all the vans right. and the bochum running around dancing in the and street. Then, and then the music that they play. Yeah. Yeah. Da, 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 good yeah. job. Yeah, every, sh- every shop is just that in itself. Da, 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 you know that song? On the way to shul. Oh, yo, yo. You're hearing it and you're seeing all these friends oh. walking along in Stramalech and yeah, kaftans running. and whatever else they're wearing and bechishes and, and the whole yeah, thing. the Shabbos screamers, Shabbos. Yeah. Yeah, just the energy of your shrine. You know, it's like it's very intense. So my, my daughter every song just needs to get back there, and that's why we go it, every song. Like, I was in Tzfat last week for Shabbos, yeah. and they, they had there it there. As well. it's a there oh, yeah. my neshama felt so good. With the breast lovers, the breast lovers, the screaming, the Shabbos, Shabbos. Yeah. And then I went to Shalashudas. I went to uh, I went to the breast of shul there, yeah. and it was just like ah, oh, it stunk like herring and tuna fish. <laughs> and normally that would trigger my like. Yeah. Childhood trauma of like yeah. being in my shtibel in Brooklyn yeah. with the stinky shalish of this, but here I felt I felt so good. At home. <laughs> I felt at home with that like a depressing stinky shalish should this feeling. It was like oh, Gavaldic. I've like, missed just, this. I missed this like the smelly beckishes. I like the fact know? that when I went to Svat a few times, the guys there, especially, they come up and like kiss my beard and 
like things that most you didn't wouldn't do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like very like friendly and like you know like yeah. connecting. It's nice. It I haven't been there for a long time, but oh. you should like more my 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 drive. Oh out. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely mine. Is is rooted in top. Yeah, probably. I think so. Yeah, mama. Okay, so but as Pablo Barossa 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 said, just visit, Barossa. otherwise it becomes a drug. Yeah, yeah. yeah for sure. Let me hear my leave the moch. Yes. In this color, El. Ela miyad ba. Ela miyad ba lisa lesham. Docha b'shtei yadaim mesiach datu miyad shenizke shu hiri ra. In a Macabre Rotson, a Philo Hiri Bo Rotson, the culture can also all a das, Lassa Hatshon, or a Philo Dava Boki, the Hari Rotson, Nikra Russia, Bosa Shah, but a Baina in a Russia, a Philo Shahas the Olam. So this is a thing, powerful point. But as soon as he the, these thoughts come up to his mind, he thrusts them out with both hands, averts his mind from it, it right. he instantly reminds himself that it is an evil thought. Refusing to, he identifies what it is. It's, it's a, this is not me. I'm a good person, and this is a or a ra. And I, I'm I'm a bainer now. I have no shaykes to this. Refusing to accept or willing even to let his thoughts play on it. So he doesn't even dwell on it. It's a big sheet of chabad. Sirch das, yeah. Get rid of it. How much more so to entertain and they're putting it into effect? And it's like culture cane that he's not going to actually do anything with yeah. this bad thought. Yeah, yeah, God okay. Or even to put into words. For he who indulges in such thoughts is deemed wicked at such time. So that's the problem. The the Benini or the intermediate guy or the what's he call him? The in, uh, between in between between in between a guy is never, is never a rush even for a minute. Because he he's I mean we said we, we, we explained that according to our level it would be that we are going to pray a Benini. So uh-huh. We have those moments we're gonna fall, but we're gonna cut the point when we're describing the time where we're in the Benini state. Yeah, we're only in the now. Benini state. And the now, Benini, be here now. The Benini, Benini state is that we're pushing out these thoughts. We're not interested. Right. Das, we're, that's the key is we're in the Benini now. Like it's Mashiach now, Benini now. Yeah, that's a good point. Now, be yeah. here now, Benini now. Okay, now. so let's read V'chein. This is where we, where we got to last time. Yeah, yeah. Miyad mahaleb lamach ezetina v'sina. So, so too with with when we're dealing with our ben amachaver friends, neighbors, countrymen, lemme your ears. As soon as they rise from his heart to his mind, some animosity or hatred, yeah, he starts to feel <sighs> some not good feelings. Uh, did I tell you? By the way, they took they they reversed the copyrights. Oh yeah, yeah. Why? Not on the the channel that got deleted. That probably is gone because there was other issues. But the the my main channel, which I care about the most, they reversed it. Who's they? I don't want to say the names on recording, but the people that did the rec- the copyright. Oh, you see, the, it got reversed. I didn't have to phone and have to email and have to say nothing to no one, other than just venting a little bit to a few friends. So, so I didn't act on it. And once once uh, I just let go, then they I got the email the next day that it's reversed. Shabbos. It was Shabbos. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you, so they have these feelings, Hashem. Ainu kino or cast. So is a kino. You got some kind of jealousy or cast. You know, jealousy can come very easily towards people's things or wife yeah, or whatever, Hashem. Or cast and get angry very easily with kids or 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 kapeda. Yeah, this is something which being a cup done, like very very muckbit on you know <laughs> everyone doing what you tell them instead yeah. of learning how to to guide people in a positive way. Right. Yeah. Um, he everybody called, would just listen. He to calls him. it a grudge. Yeah, Kapdanus. Okay. Where's it? Kapdanus. Kapdanus. Kapdan is he wrote. He writes here is a kina. Jealousy. Right, envy, chaos, envy, anger. Anger. What's this? Feda is resentment. Resentment. Okay. Resentment yeah. is a big Indian. Could be. But the man, Aina, and all these kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. He would Such categorically. Aina bekab and kab and malchut b'tzano v'ad rab b'moyach shalit b'moisha b'ruach shaliba lasas heifech mamish. So, on the contrary, what's happening with this guy? He gives him no entrance into his mind and will. Doesn't allow it to enter his mayach and his rotsa. Right. Those two levels. Mayach, the way you think, your mindset, and your rotsa, what you want, your will. Yeah? Two important concepts in life. On the contrary, his mind exercises its authority and has power over the spirit in his heart. That's the whole right. idea that the, the mayach is sholet. Sholet, the moshe of ruach shalibo, yeah, and the spirit in his heart, to do the opposite. What's he going to do? So I had, I, had a, I had a yeshiva I worked for once. They pretty much like maneuvered to get me out very painfully. And because I, 
I wanted them to be a more open yeshiva to help all kinds of neshamas, and they wanted to be a yeshiva with a good name and only the best. Yeah. Right. And I felt like there was the whole, there's plenty of those. I wanted to right, do we something. Don't need that. I wanted something, you know, Mashiach Dik, Bashem Tovdik. So I had a whole thing with them, and they, in the end, Rasimaya told me back off and leave it. Anyway, so I left it. So what did I do, Purim? Comes Purim, Shlach Manus times. I'm going to go Dafka to both the Mashkir and the Moshiva's house, Rosh Kolo. They're very difficult, what happened to me. Right. I came to them with Matanas and I gave them a smiley face and I said, Happy Purim. And that was it. That's the Haifech. You do the opposite. What so you naturally you're want to do is get angry, la la la. But no, or speak Lashon about them everywhere you go. Yeah? Well, what you do, the opposite. You go give them Shlach Manas. Right. That brings Mashiach. That's Shlach Manas. That's Purim is after. That's a Benini right there. Benini. Yeah. Imagine we told someone, you're Mamish a Benini. Yeah, so the praise. You're Mamish middle of the ground. No, no, no. <laughs> it, no. If you say that intermediate, like the way it uh, translates here, then yeah, it's not, it doesn't sound like such a praise. But right. if you explain it, then it means you've never sinned. You're sholet. You're, you're sholet on yourself. You have this animal, right. this wild animal inside you wants to go nuts. Right. And you're completely sholet on it. Never manifests. Right. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a rating system. When someone says, oh, this is 10 out of 10, then you know he's dream. lying. Yeah. There's nothing's 10 out of 10. Only Hashem's 10 out of 10. Right. So say, okay, the food is 9 out of 10. Then, you know, okay. He's I don't being know. honest. I, I would say Sadiq and Gomorrah are 10 out of 10. Say, but uh, do, we but don't know such him. a thing. Ben and Aliyah. We, we don't understand such there, a level. There are only a handful of them in yeah. the whole world. Like in every a, generation. Tzadik who never ben Yeah, me sinned. Yeah. Uh, Tzadik Gomer, someone who even never entertained the thought. Like that. It never it's not even there. Entered him. He's killed his yet to her. It doesn't yeah. exist. The Sometimes I feel like I'm just a Tzadik Gomer. The thought of Avera is just... I can't understand. Even this fact you're saying it is already like <laughs> a begum. Because the Sadiq Gamal is not even like that's even talking jokes. that way. No, not just jokes. He doesn't, he doesn't like entertain. The, it's, it's a different, it's like a, such a bittle to a show. Right. We, can, we can't really, we can talk about it, but not really to understand it. Yeah. yeah. We, we, the, you see, but Tani didn't dwell on it. Talk for he's yourself, he's focusing know. on the Bainani. Because that's, like uh... that's where he wants to help us, you know, with being a Bainani. Um, he's realistic. With his casino. Yeah. On the contrary, it's my next. I mean, even that, we think he's not realistic because it's such Bain a high level. Pretty high level to but me. at the same time, no, because we understand it with the Mafre. Then, then it makes sense with the as if that you can constantly right. do tshuva. Your whole That's the Rebbe. That was yeah. the Rebbe. That was the Rebbe's help. On the contrary, his mind exercises for a part of their spirit and heart to develop the conduct towards his neighbor. What? How right. do you do it? Mamish, Lansanik, Imachaver, Bamidas Chesed, the Chiba. It goes gives him a shlach right. manas, a hug, a kiss, a hug, love. Yisera, Madoes lo lesoba menu ad kat zachon. Lo lekas chasshon. Gam shalol leshalem lo kufulo chasshon. Yeah, he's not going to get angry. He's not going to give revenge. He's not going to repay the offenders with with with, with anger. He's going to rather what? He's going to. How's he going to do it? Vegam shalol leshalem lo kufulo chasshon. Ella adarab ala kumul lechayovim. He's going to do. Acts of kindness back. He's going to repay him with kindness. Right. Like Gedalia Fence always says, kill them with kindness. Kill them with kindness. It's overwhelmed. Kill Someone's them trying with to just, Like people come to him and say, You're not a rabbi. Yeah. He right. says, I know. He said, Then why are you teaching classes and press love and all this stuff? Wow. And he says, I don't care what you think. Are okay. you paying my bills? No. So then you've got no right to tell me what to do. And I'm going to keep teaching these classes. Right. And I'm going to even what? And then the guy will say, Can you donate to my Moses? Like two months later, I hear that he's a wealthy guy. And he'll give the money, and they'll be like, that's it, end of discussion. Yeah. Right. So he won the battle. That one should learn from the example of Yosef towards his brothers. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The Chayvim Tovis. So it's a Gemal Chayvim Tovis. We say this when we do a Bikas Gemal. Let me just read this here for a second. Zodom you are the worst Mach. judge if somebody yeah. has wronged you since personal bias. Sure. So I'm wronged you, that misfortune was meant to happen to you regardless of oh, perpetrating it. Pratis, yeah. uh, volunteer for the job. It was meant to be that this person was just the shliach. Right, God would have done I remember it some other way. One rabbi once said to me, I'm just a sh- like Yosef. He said, I'm just like Yosef. I said, what you, he said, it's like Yosef's story. I said, what do you mean? It was during that time, the, that time of year, and when all the Nisiones started kicking off. So he said with the yeshiva and stuff. So he said, he said, yeah, I'm just like Yosef. So it's all from Hashem. And then I asked a different rabbi about his statement, and he said, no, no, he has a bechira to actually do better than that. He doesn't need to be the one to... To create the for you. <laughs> right, right. You, the person himself is making the Nisyonis can actually control himself. So he doesn't want to this. be that shlier. Right. Even though it's from Hashem that he's doing it. It's a healthy that. balance. People get caught away like, ah, oh, like this someone will. I know people like that who, who were mamish, like tortured by other people. Yeah. 
And then their response was like, oh, this is all from Hashem. So, and, and, and it wasn't Which one? Like, the person being tortured? No, the person being tortured was like, oh, it's so just the torture a is when it's real Hashem. Hashem. And yeah, so, he's telling you the torture, telling him I'm just a shlich from a No, 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 not that. I'm that's, like, don't, that's messed up. No, I'm like, what? Then don't be that. Right, right. You don't be the torturer. No, but even if the guy you who gets tortured. understand as a shem, then don't torture people. But even be the nice. person who gets tortured, there's a yeah. healthy balance of like, yeah. yeah, you're right. You can look at it that way, but you still have to. Do your status to not your continue. Your allow yourself to, continue. to be tortured. Like someone Get away from me, the toxic people. I remember I learned this once that if yeah. someone steals money from me, so if let's say I do a business deal, yeah. And this guy steals money from me, and they derive this from the pasuk. Also, maybe it was yeah. a, maybe I learned this in the Gemara. Yeah, uh, the that Gemara it's my so. responsibility too. If someone steals from me, obviously the guy who yeah. stole it gets an avera. But it, there's there's a level of sin on my part too, yeah. because I I have to hold him accountable and make sure that he's not going to steal from me. And so by me being reckless with my own money, yeah. Especially, uh, of course, if, if I knew he was a shady character to begin with. Yeah, when you've been born, you would have been lost in a hope Yeah, lift naiver. Yeah, lift naiver, exactly. So Very don't, good. Don't so, just, so, no, the Gemara days are still applicable. Everything you learn is going to help you in life. That's why I was saying, Torah Hashem to Meshim is not fish. Every Tukufa in life, you open up a safer, even if you weren't right. so conscious and in such a good state of mind in those right. times, the Torah itself is Nitzchias, so it does good. And it will help us again and again. Right, right, I've right. I've seen so many times where like, I suddenly pull out Torah that I didn't even realize that I learned one time. And I've surprised myself, surprised my family, or surprised my wife. And she's like, well, I actually know quite a lot. I'm like, well, I hope so, because I did spend like 20 years dedicated to this instead right. of doing business or something else. So hopefully something went in, you know? Yeah, exactly. So we, we say here, learn from, right, Tanya says that you ought to learn from Yosef. Yeah. So Yosef's right, story Yosef was with his brothers. There. That ah, story, it. yeah, then we finished chapter 12. So that that's story, perfect timing. Yeah, and we're just going to, just just before we end, we'll just look at the summary because it's just good to okay, analyze. I just want to mention Yosef's story. It's a hard story to talk about this time of year because we're coming up to Purim. But if you actually think about it, it's very appropriate because the suda that Yosef made for all his brothers was for who? Was for? His brothers, when? Purim Day. Purim Day. Purim Day, because it was a suda of Achdus, of unity. Uh, we're going to have a Shalasudas, Pashas Vyako. We're having a Shalasudas of Vyachtas, of unity. Making a meal together with people, that, the Kihila, the community, your brothers, mm-hmm. that you're having a hard time, is, is no bigger unifier. When are we doing that? This Shalasudas. Ah, Shalasudas. Yeah, and we're going to do it Purim Day also, here. Purim we're going to have Purim, Purim Day. day. Well, They're going to open up the shul day. for a Suda. Suda's Purim for everyone near the end of Purim. Ah, and everyone's going to come, the it's whole Kishma. school? He usually used to be Rav Shlomo's house, but he's just doing something in his house, so this year it's going to be in the shul, um, which is good. It'll be a bit larger space in a way. That's Baruch Hashem. Um, so anyway, just to summarize chapter 12, the Bainani. We're going to get next time get into the mechanics of the Bainani, yeah, which is important because we need to break this down more. The nitty gritty. But what we learned, basically, the Bainani never does an Avera. We just learned that. Rabbi said he never did an Avera, nor, he will, uh, nor will he ever do an Avera. Yeah? But the emotion yeah, is everything is yeah. in my phrase, so of course he's never gonna do an Avera. Oh. But the emotions of the Nefesh and Akus do not have exclusivity over the Bain in these inner worlds. The emotions of the Nefesh and Bahamas are still alive and experienced. Yeah. With the correct energy and activity at Fila in Torah, at the correct time, the Bainini can temporarily experience the disillusion of the emotions of the Nefesh Bahamas. With the full state experience that derives of both the Nefesh Bahamas and the Nefesh and Akus. Nefesh that makes sense of everything right. we just learned. This is what we've been learning. The mind should rule over the heart, meaning we are naturally able to overcome the desires of Nefesh Bahamas by using our minds. Distraction or dis- disidentification are effective ways of controlling one's behavior. Misbehavior takes place because of a ruch shtus, right. a spirit of insanity. The Benin is not a sadic because he's in control only of his behavior, not his emotions. He is therefore subject to hearing of vera, sinful thoughts, but he does not entertain them. Okay. Between man and man, and this will end off with, the Bainini will always treat his fellow kindly, even in this thoughts, and not hold on to any negative, toxic resentments. You have to be yeah. totally forgiving and shalom. That was of Yosef's brothers. Ultimately, Yosef forgave his brothers, and his mm-hmm. brothers forgave him. Why was there still Golis after that? Because it wasn't totally fixed. There was some right. subtle thing. But a if little, we can a get... Little, a little... But if we can get to level Yosef and the brothers and you know, after the whole problem and they've come back together, like Purim Suda and Sholem, or they're with their father again and saying yeah. Shema, that's the idea. We have to have actors. We have to have, have forgiveness. To we're going to have Nisyonas generally, but we're yeah. going to come back to the Ava 
and av achva. Come back to your roots. Yeah, and the ability to uh, to to do only good to Am Yisrael. Amen, amen. And Hashem should do good for us. Shabbos. Let's get ready for Shabbos. I'm I'm let I scream. Yeah, you always want to scream. You scream out Shabbos? Just scream. Oh, I spotted us. I, I just want to scream. Oh, yeah, you hear the guy in show every every Musaf he screams out Aye. Yeah, yeah, there's some guys who, a couple screamers. Oh, I'm jealous of them. Anyway, good Shabbos. That's why I love the Uman around.